come to the last day of detecting. Done, dusted. We're just laying all our finds out what we've uh, what we found this this week in five days detecting. It was interesting, hard going though. Start off with that again. Right, okay. So we got this. Um, we think it's off an old traction engine. That's interesting, though, isn't it? Again, don't you think that's one black of a, a tractor or something? Yeah, and a sort of farm machinery plaque advertisement, isn't it? That's. I think. I think that's steam, steam driven thing there, Ken. Black, I think. Yeah. Musket balls, pistol shot, the uh, key uh, cover, so a couple, couple of, and also a key that's broken, and there's half a spool. Another button. That's a military button, that guy. Military button, that one. Uh, George third. Let's find the of the day is the cartwheel penny, which is that one. So at least to come up with a third. nice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Full penny, cartwheel penny. Spin it around again. 17.96. Can we get it on the head there? Can you get it on there? I don't know. Get it that way around. I'll just put a bit of oil on it to try and bring it out. But uh... So, um, I got a bunch of stuff, a lot of buttons and uh, bullets and stuff, but I'll show you each one. Um, some of the things I'm not sure. This is cool. It's a piece of a uh, an old clay pipe. Of course, I found that on top because you wouldn't find... With a metal Play detector. with a metal detector, so. <laughs> um, what did you say these were? They're both the same. Type. Yeah, yeah, it's horse bridle buckles, buckles, and some of them go really, they're really old. They could be like, you know, 1500 year old or, or up to 19th century, so. Uh, uh, a draw handle. Yeah, that's probably 18th century with that design, I think. Yeah. Maker's mark on that, so I'll, I'll check that out. Um, let's go back here. Now you said this was some kind of a ring or buckle or something, It's a buckle, right? yeah. Yeah, so, that'd be 17th, 18th them. century, yeah. yeah. And uh, we said medieval, possibly um, a nail. Yeah, or, yeah. It, well, yeah. It looks bronze, doesn't it? Yeah. So it yeah. could be a nail or... Yeah. Look, you see the, the patina, it's bronze. So, yeah. Uh, really cleaned up nicely. Yeah, it's got four. Four spindles. Look at that. I don't believe it. I believe it's something very old. I did find, see, there's two holes. Um, yeah, it looks like a looks like a cross of something, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a, a or religious flower symbol. or some. Yeah, it's, I think it's a religious symbol. Yeah, I really do. I, I think that's a really cracking find, really. We'll have to look that up mm, and we'll see what we can nice. find. If anybody on there knows, let us know. Um, all right, we can go to buttons. I'll get just a close shot of this. All I right. think it's a face on there. I'm sure there is, or is it flowers? I, I th that's oh. what I think. I think oh. they're flowers. Oh, okay. We'll see. Okay, mate. Um, all right. So we have all our two-piece buttons. Um, I believe military. military. Yeah. yeah, military. Yeah. Military. Second World War. Um, I like these. These ones match. So this would be the coat button. Maybe the cuff button. Because it's something we want to see the regiment. Can you see? Hmm. Clear as a bell, is that? All right. And let me show you the other one that uh, kind of goes with that or has the same emblem, mm, so but it's... smaller. Yeah, I think it's like a few fusiliers, but that's what I just think. These are all shirt buttons, aren't they? Shirt brass yeah, buttons. Yeah, all, all newer. 1950s. Yep. Tons of those. And then I have a bunch of um, uh, mostly pewter um, flat buttons here. 17th century, 18th century buttons. Yep. Cuff, yep. coat. From cup, yeah, all, all over, yeah. Uh, this one here has a decoration. I think I showed it yeah, before. I think you showed it. Before. Uh, the other ones are just regular old flat buttons. I think they're up to all of them. Just gonna go ahead and go with it. Um, we've got the um, denarius, and this would be Empress Sabina, um, and I think we figured around 120 um, A.D. Mm, nice. Uh, Roman. Mm. Okay, so we got Roman. Now we've got French uh, Napoleon the Third. 1862. Yeah, 18, yeah. See an eagle or um, some kind of bird. Mm, mm. Okay, yeah. And then I actually clean this up a little bit. You can see uh, Napoleon really, you know, really uh, yeah. good detail on mm. there. Uh, this is a new one, or, you know, newer coin. Um, is it, who is it? Yeah, it's Elizabeth II, our present queen, Florin. Cooper Nickel, though. Yeah. But it's uh, 19, it's in 1956? 
1950 something 53 oh 1953 okay. but i really like the design on the back and i haven't seen uh, other british coins with that design not that you know yeah, i mean yeah, i haven't yeah. seen very many british coins yeah, yeah. so <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah well it's george the sixth and is this the second out then all right um what is this one i think it's i think it's a george the third uh oh it's, it's, oh, a, oh that's a penny of george the third you got a big one George, yeah, it's wow, big! Yeah. yeah, that's a George III actual penny but without the rim, because the, the old cartwheel pennies had like a cartwheel rim round it. This is not, so this is a bit later. Still, like, they would have a date down here, and I may be able to no, get that on the, out later. On the head, yeah, yeah, it would. No, it's on the base of the. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I think well, they're usually eighteen somethings. Yeah, yeah. Oh, All right, right. that's so, a big one. That blew your head off. A lot of these started off with a almost ironish tone. But a you know a high beep and i just decided to dig them and as you get some of that dry soil and get the stubble you now it. you get a better tone yeah yeah so i got uh this one here was a 91. 91 that, 91 yeah, on that, the yeah, xp yeah. or uh xp uh deus 2. So, yeah because you're using the deus aren't you yes deus 2. yes mm. now yeah. this was unidentifiable this was used as a uh, what do they call it the, uh, yeah uh, 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 pendant. pendant yep but I can now see uh, the the head of whoever, whatever guy this is. It's a guy. Is it facing so, to the right? Yeah. Well, see it? Yeah. Yeah. So it does, and it does. Also, we have some. Let me just see real quick. Um, I don't know if you can see it, uh, but it does have on the back. It looks like a shield or. Okay, to me, unidentifiable, but I'm thinking uh, George uh, yeah, the Third Halfpenny. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we have a uh, Victoria, Victoria Halfpenny. Is it a penny or halfpenny? It's penny? a penny. Okay, penny. We have, um, okay, this is facing to the left. No, facing to the right, the head, if you can see that bust. But uh, we'll, again, look at that later and... Um, um, this is another, I believe, Victoria Halfpenny, yeah? Yes, that's right. That's right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Halfpenny, right. Victoria. Um, I have this that could be a coin. It's very thin. That for me, that's a 17th century buckle, small little buckle. That's some sort of uh, small box latch, probably 17th, 18th century. Don't know what that is, really. Uh, these are carpet fasteners for staircases. Broken buckle. Broken buckle yet again fastener. Probably attachment on a uh, uh, leather belt. What's got, what's got found? Drawer handle. Brass. Same thing. And then we have, if we come down here, I forgot. Could be a medieval key bottom bit. It's the mount for the door handle. Not sure about that, but it looks good, but it isn't. But it's some sort of belt system. Belt, probably, for some clothing. Strap belt or something like that. Piece of lead. 303 bullet. Two loom weights. Loom weights, they're small one and a big one. Three spindle whirls, I think that could be Roman. Another lead bullet. Musket shot, large one. Then we've got a um, plum, plum line weight, lead. And now, cat's eye that goes in the middle of a road. So when your headlights hit it, it lights up. So you lights up. So you're keeping the lane. And we've got fancy stud buckle. Yep. So, sorry, sorry, uh, a fancy stud button. And then we've got just a 19th century spoon. Um, got a leaf. Yeah. 
all your 17th century buttons and uh, military buttons, a few of them. More 17th century buttons. A, a bit of bronze there, and I'm not quite sure what that because it's missing. Something's missing. Another type of button. I think that's Roman. Uh, big piece of copper. Yeah, again, not quite sure what that is. But these are all the different coins. George III, probably 1770. That will be Georgia V, 1920s, 1950 Georgia V, and then we're looking at uh, all different variations, and I think we've got a, a Roman one, this or that, I'm not sure, looks Roman that one, and then all different pennies. So that's my um, finds, a bit disappointed because we couldn't, of course, like Ken said and, and Scott said, that it's just, I didn't find any hammered, which is just very, very surprising. It's very dry, rock hard. You were digging lumps of muck out with just like bricks. Uh, you know, I, I'll probably need about a week's sleep now to catch up on with that, with the amount of hard work that we've put into doing this. But obviously we have to do that because Scott's over here. Let's go to oh, you got the, the, oh, yes. the trash. And... That was the finds. Now look at what we dug out in the trash. What an awesome pile. Ta da Go close and scan. Yep. Uh, we did find some um, pottery also. Oh, yeah. um, some china. Um, but yeah, a lot, a lot of trash. And, and the really heavy iron we threw into the, uh, you know, the woods. So there was more than this. So we got some, you know, we really got some good finds. But we had to really work at it. Um, so, uh, but it was all worth it. So, thanks a lot. Take care, and we'll see you on the next adventure.